Hi, my name is Kenneth Alacorley. Today we're going to talk about rubbing compounds. Cars tend to lose their paint, get scratched and scuffed up, and acquire other kinds of unsightly blemishes over time. If you want to prevent your car from sinking into dismal condition, you can use a rubbing compound to restore its beauty and shine. It's important to understand that there are plenty of options when selecting the right product. You need to look for the best rubbing compound on the market one which boasts superior performance while still getting sold at a reasonable price. Since it's hard to prevent damage to the car completely, the best thing you can do is use a rubbing compound so that things don't take a turn for the worst. Link in the description is a lot of relevant information, but first let's go over a few things. The very first thing to look out for is the effectiveness of the brand. The rubbing compound you chew needs to feature a superior formula as well as avoid containing any toxic ingredients or fillers. Components like silicone may have negative effects on the surface of your car rather than improve its state. When you use a rubbing compound on the surface of your car, check to see if the product contains silicone. If that is the case, there is a potential for paint adhesion. Silicone can also cause smear marks on the surface of your eye. Consequently, it is wise to select only a silicone-free product that also doesn't contain any useless fillers. There are different ways to apply rubbing compounds. Some of them are so simple that you can apply them by hand. Others need machines such as a buffer or a polisher. There are also some rubbing compounds which work well if you apply them using microfiber, wool pads, or foam pads. Before you settle on a rubbing compound, it's important to make sure you have the machines or accessories for the application. Those do not own or know someone that has a buffer or polisher to stick to rubbing compounds and apply by hand. How much rubbing compound do you need will depend on the work you need to complete. It makes the most sense to buy it in bulk if you plan to use the product on numerous vehicles. Rubbing compounds sold in bulk also work well for oversized vehicles such as trailers or RVs. However, it is unnecessary to invest in a surplus of compound if you only need it for a personal car. There is also a wide range of rubbing compounds available by different brands. A lot of leading companies in the industry created their own rubbing compounds which can remove imperfections on the surface of cars. However, there are some brands which have ultimately produced less than desirable products. So keep an eye on the reputation of the manufacturer. The last factor is price. Although rubbing compounds are very useful, you shouldn't have to break the bank. Rubbing compounds are sold in a wide range of prices like any product. Therefore, it is easy to spend as little or as much as your budget allows, though the old-fashioned rule, you get what you pay for, still applies to rubbing compounds. And from all of us here at Auto Quarterly, I want to thank you for watching today's video. I hope it helps you choose the best rubbing compound for your vehicle.